Okay, my friends, this is going to be exciting. I just want you to listen to a couple of seconds of this. Very simple. It's talking about something called Bell's Inequality, the weirdest theorem in the world, Nobel Prize 2022. This is on YouTube. Now listen to this, what she has to say. Be known as Bell's Theorem in just a few lines of algebra. He showed that if you only assume two things, those things being local realism, Locality, meaning you can't travel faster than the speed of light. There's the problem right there. You have to assume that, and that is not true. And realism, which means that things have definite values, whether or not you measure them. So, if I agree with that part. You see, here's the, see, here's the problem. A few lines of algebra. We figured everything out with a few lines of algebra. They can't explain what I show them, so they, they deny me to be able to speak. All right, when I showed you the light accelerating, that's the particle right there. That's the particle that's in that beam. And that's the particle. So light is a particle. It has a magnetic field surrounding it, so it creates a wave that I showed you before. And that wave, where are we here? The particle's in here. The wave is out there because it's pushed against all these other particles, just like a jet fighter does. And there it is accelerating, and these are the particles. And they're the same ones that CERN and Fermi Lab talking about, the black and the white one up above. Muon neutrino, electron neutrino, it creates the showers. This is the first time it's ever been done. This is fission, this is fusion, and this is raw electrons. I think we can use this and harvest that electricity, and they will refuse to talk to me at Fermi Lab or CERN anymore. <laughs> They think I'm completely crazy. I think they're completely crazy. How about that? Okay, my friends, I'm just going to wrap it up with this. I'm going to try to go through all of these different pictures, briefly discuss them, and you take it for what you think it's worth. This is light from a pulsed red laser accelerating all of the electron particles that are in front of it because it has to push through. So their fields are concussing with its field. Now, that is just light going. This is light literally accelerating because of a Venturi. It's quite an un fully understood what a Venturi does. It accelerates things because of the crushing of the fields. Now, so we have light. We have light accelerating. When we see that particle acceleration right there, that's the particle. Now, can we actually see that particle? And yes, we can. And here is that particle right here as it accelerates. Now, you see it was not glowy, and then it got glowier and glowier, and then it just exploded. That is the sequence of events. These are neutrinos. These are photons. And that is the division creating a muon and electron showers. Now, I could show you this in green, and it also happens in blue. Blue is just too too powerful to see it, but we can see it in the green and the red, and I can see them both at the same time and show you the concussive value. So here we have a neutrino like flat in this way. We have a neutrino this way. We have uh, photons. That is exactly the sequence of events that they talk about, is the neutrinos change flavors, they call it, change values. Now, when they start talking about Higgs fields, they're looking for these which is where they smash particles head on and they just get all this debris and they look through it and they found the particles we have. But we found them from light, so we're way, way, way ahead of the game. We just shot the light through here and there they are, right there. And, and this exactly the same particles. There's no difference in the ones that they found at Fermi Lab and the ones we found here. They are right there. There's a Fermi Lab paddock particles, and theirs are identical. And they do exactly what they say at Fermi Lab. This one gets glowy and that one just never changes exactly what happens. And when they went through the Venturi, the black separated from the white. That's fission. This is fusion. This is very, very important science right here. This is not something to be laughed at, and that's what's happened. It's being laughed at by Fermi Lab. They won't engage. They won't get just refuse to engage. Now here's the green and the red at the same time. You see the red is just not concussive enough. The green is much more explosive as it comes through and the blue is just out of control fast um, the blue is up here uh, well 
I could show it in a different shot, but these are the these are the Higgs fields, and that's what they look at look like coming at us. We're using CMOS. CMOS is something they never understood, and now Fermilab, uh, not Fermilab, CERN, has taken to the CMOS, and they also have taken to accelerating, as I told them.